Okay, hey guys, it's Melly, and I'm doing this from my I um from my Mac. So I'm doing this from my Mac camera. Um, so I got a haul right here. This is the box that some of the makeup came in. I don't want to dump it because there's a bunch of makeup in here. But um, I got the Fifty Shades of Grey Makeup Forever kit, which I am enjoying right now. And I have some funky eyeshadow on. But um, so let's start out with this wonderful haul. Okay. okay, I went last week to get this and they didn't have it and then I got it on Sunday I was I walked in the store and I saw one there and I grabbed it right away I was looking at it and the lady's like I'm like do you have any of the blushes left and she's like no I don't think so I think it's gone and I saw the last one there and I'm like oh no excuse me and I grabbed it <laughs> You guys um, so here's the blushes this is, uh, if you don't know yet, this is the Marcella Pantone color, universe color. And guys, don't mind my arms, please. I had a really bad allergic reaction to something, and I couldn't figure out what it was for the longest time, so I kept having it because I'm super sensitive to soap and whatnot. And so I finally, I think I finally figured it out, hopefully. I changed all my soaps, so hopefully that was it. And it's starting to heal, but it was just a crazy allergic reaction. So here's the Pantone Universe Sephora and you see my computer and my camera and whatnot. Ooh. <laughs> I'm gonna probably blind you guys. That was the blush. And then um I've had the eyeshadow for a while and I was able to use this and I am in love with these colors. Such great colors for um the year. Like I just love these colors because they're more towards the neutral side so anybody can wear them especially my blue eyes and i have light to green blue eyes you guys so it's not really blue and it's not really green it's like a mixture of the two so this is what it looks like so all of these colors work really well for my eyes and i'm loving them okay guys so i I am not, oh, and let's show these before um, I go on. And no, I'm not going to have no swatches because this is just a haul. It's not a review or anything. Um, here, here we go. These are those little chubby lip pencils that they had available. I didn't get the lipstick yet again this year. I should have grabbed that first, but I didn't. I got these instead. I thought these would work better. They do. They have color to them. They have pigment to them. They're, so they're not like lip balm or lip gloss. They're just a nice light pigmented lipstick. They don't give you the pigmentation that the um, lipstick would have gave you. These are on the lighter side of them. Okay. And then, so lately, I've been really into drugstore products for some reason. I've been like, um, the only thing I haven't got yet is the Physicians Formula. And I love for, uh, I love Physicians Formula products. All the I waited products. for a while for this. There was a lot of hype around this foundation. And I waited for a while to get this. It's a uh, cover girl, ready, set, gorgeous, fresh complexion. 110 is my shade um, by Katy Perry. I like this, but uh, the only thing I don't like about it is it needs a primer. It accentuates all my pores. Especially when you look really close to my face, you're like, and if you saw my face without makeup, you're like, no, your pores are not that huge. If you see them with this foundation, they're super huge. So, it's a good foundation. I love it. Uh, I love it for, excuse me, I love it for full coverage, but it accentuates my, my pores like super huge. Today, I'm wearing the matte poreless but um, Fit Me Maybelline. Um, I tried this with the Maybelline Master Prime, which is this one. And uh, I'm not, I don't like it with the primer. So I might have to try either a lighter coverage, a lighter application of it, or I might have to try it without the primer and see how it works. Um, as far as it making me matte, it does that. It absolutely 100% does that. And so the reason I'm thinking I might have to try it without the primer is because it says poreless. So um, maybe if I try it without the primer, it might work better. 
And then I have the Maybelline Masters Face and Studio Primer. Um, I didn't get a chance to look at my face after I put this on because I was running around the house chasing the kids. But when I get a chance to look at my face, I will let you guys know if I like this or not. If it really does make me poreless. Because it didn't with the foundation. Translucent version of Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless um, Setting Powder. Yeah, pressed powder. So this is Fit Me. Um, you can tell it's different from the old packaging because the Fit Me is in blue, matte and poreless. And I set my foundation with this today. It's just a light powder. It's not really, once you put it on and start mixing it, it gives it more of like a white powdery look. And that might be another reason my foundation didn't work too well. Sorry guys, I'm a told you I had an allergic reaction or something. You can't see it on my hands, but when you look really closely, you can see it there. And so, um, it makes, it actually makes my hand look poreless. <laughs> when, when you mix your, your skin and all the wrinkles and stuff disappear on your hands, then you know, it's probably going to be a, a winner. I just have to try it differently. And so to continue on with, um, powders. This is um, the Hourglass Diffuse Light Powder. Diffuse Light. This is the Diffuse Light Powder by Hourglass. And the reason I picked this up is because everybody, it's a yellow powder. So everybody's like, oh, it would be great for setting underneath the eyes. Leanne says, recommended this. Um, somebody else recommended this on YouTube and I forget who it was. So I want to try it. And there's the powder right there. It's a nice light. Uh, it's like a yellow highlight. And that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to be a highlight. Um, but I really did. And I thought it was going to really like shimmer underneath my eyes. Like give me a nice hot, uh, like shim, sh super shimmer. But it's a nice um, subtle highlight. So it works great underneath the eyes. And I really, really, really love this. And uh, just for those who are wondering, because I had a friend mention this, and uh, um, and uh, uh, on YouTube, I had a friend mention this. These are the regular size. These are the hourglass. This is the hourglass palette, which they sell for fifty-eight dollars. And it says you get a let um, one zero point one one six ounces of um, product in here, and then in here you get zero point thirty five ounces. So just these are just about half of these, pretty much, you guys. Just about a little bit less than half. I'm I'm guessing, and um. Even though you get less in here in this palette for $58, still a nice palette, still a nice deal. And I especially love this one for highlighting. This um, one right here is, I think it's dim light. It's nice for warming up my face when I don't want to stick bronzer on my face. And this one is just nice for setting my face. So it works really good. And I've had this for a year and see how much product i i haven't used it that i haven't used the product like i'm still good and that's been around for a year you guys a year so with that being said i haven't used it every day either so i'm just telling you guys that but it's nice um the next thing is i bought two pretty much i want to say two of the same this is um undetectable press powder by Sonia Kasich and the reason I bought this is because somebody on, fa on YouTube uh, I can't remember which YouTuber did it and it reminds me it's actually looking very close to the dim light the um, hourglass dim light powder so yeah they look very close the hourglass just looks more like it's got shimmer in it yeah more shimmer in it and it's just a little bit finer pressed um 
This one right here is by Sonia Kraschek, and this was 10 bucks. The Hourglass is 45. So if you want to close through the Sonia Kraschek Undetectable Press Powder, that's the name of it. And this is it. And I got this because I couldn't remember if it was this one or if it was the Chick Luminosity Glow Powder that was supposed to be like NARS is crystal powder, you guys. So this is the Luminosity Chick Glow Powder. And let me pull out the crystal powder for NARS. This is the crystal, this this one is, I use this, this has gone to hell and back with me, you guys. I, I have a backup of this already because I love this powder. And the reason I love this, I haven't used a Sonia Kraschek one yet. But the reason I love my crystal translucent powder is because when I take not all photos, it does not give me a white cast underneath the eyes with the flash. Like other powders, other setting powders have. And these are the setting powders right there. This is, um, sorry to give you the middle finger, this is the NARS. This is the Sony Akashic one. So NARS, Sony Akashic. And um, I don't know if they will show up on my skin. No, they don't. They just look like a highlight on my skin. Um, it's a pretty good dupe. It's actually a pretty good dupe for... Now, as for underneath the eyes, I don't know how well it works underneath the eyes yet. I don't know if it's going to be more shimmery, like a white powder, kind of like e.l.f. gives you a white cast. Um, but I'm going to try it. NARS has never given me a white cast as, much, as far as I could remember. Never. So, I really, really, really prefer the NARS. But... This is a great dupe for 15 bucks where NARS is 35. And even NARS is cheaper than some of the um, powders on uh, on Sephora. Like even it's even cheaper than I think Tarte. I'm not don't quote me by that, but I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, the next thing is a part of this kit. So you guys. Oh, I didn't think I pulled out my lipstick. Where's my lipstick? Okay, I lost the lipstick. Unless I did pull it out and put it somewhere. Oh, it's over here. Hold up, you guys. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Okay, so. This is the Makeup Forever um, Fifty Shades of Grey kits. The, the, the big container I showed you at the beginning came with the eyeshadow lipstick and lip gloss and um mascara okay um now okay then this is the blush that came with a little this bag and it came with a little bro brush, brush. And I don't know where the little brush is because my kids probably ran off with it. But the thing I want to say about this kit, you guys, the thing that I am so glad for, people were saying, oh, I wish they put some Fifty Shades of Grey, um, made the made the palettes, especially for Fifty Shades of Grey, like limited palettes of Fifty Shades of Grey and stuff like that. The reason they didn't do that is because if you see back here, there, I don't know if you can see them. There's tiny little holes. And I hope you can see that little hole right there because I can see it somewhat. There's tiny little holes back there which you can take a needle. I'm pretty sure a needle will work. Let's see. I have one. I want to try this with you guys. I have a stick pen right here. So, you take it, put it in there. And let's see this. And it pops. The pan, the shadow, right out. And then you can look on the back, see which shadow that is. Or the shadows are also listed here on the back. Or you can take this 
and reuse it and put different shadows in here and you never have to buy another one of these. So that's nice. The thing also is, is that they didn't put holes on this one, but they did make it where you can, and let me see if I can get this out with my finger. Yeah, you can. You can pop these out too and stick a different, sorry guys, I'm probably blinding you and I'm dumping my makeup over here. You can pop those out and stick different shadows in here too. Which this is nice because Makeup Forever doesn't do four quads like this. A four quad palette with a mirror. They don't. They only have these out with the other eyeshadows which are three, three um, quad, two quad, or one quad. So if you buy this kit from Fifty Shades Grey, you can pop these eyeshadows out and put your own Makeup Forever eyeshadows in there. Or I even think maybe, I'm not sure. You would have to look. I think maybe the MAC Pro pans, the larger MAC eyeshadow pans, which are the Pro, would probably fit in here as well. So there you go. Great bargain for the price. Even if you don't like the, the shadows, you can reuse the palette. How nice is that? Or you can switch them for different shadows. Now back on to the blush. The blush I would like to point out is this is the only one in here that's blushed. And if you look on the back, it tells you exactly that. Eyeshadow, eyeshadow. This is the only one that's blush. <coughs> so with that being said, I'm pretty sure that blush can be used as an eyeshadow. Okay. Next, um, I got... This is Scarlet. I went on a major haul, you guys. And I have more coming in, too. This is Scarlet. I don't want to put it in my hands because it's just, I just don't. So this is Poppy and they both look really nice with blue eyes. So don't be scared to pick up these colors. If you're looking for a really nice lipstick to go with blue eyes, this is a two-sided lipstick for 12 bucks and these are healthy lipsticks for your lips and moisturizing lipsticks and they're really nice. Um, Lab Shine, which is the gloss. I haven't worn this yet. And it's a really sticky format. It reminds me of Booksome and MAC, and MAC gloss. So, I really like that. Um, Makeup Forever. This is Rouge Artist Natural N4 by Makeup Forever. Um, the thing I have to say about this lipstick is more of a lip balm than a lipstick. It's like a tinted lip balm. It doesn't really, you have to really apply it several times to get the lip color to build up on your lips. Okay. Also, I also got, I wanna make sure I covered everything. I also got the Master Conceal um, in 10 Fair by Face Studio. I'm wearing this today underneath my eyes and I am really liking this. I actually really really love this. Um I have to do a face off with NYX HD and this because these two are winning from the drugstore so I'm really liking the Maybelline Master Concealer. Maybelline is stepping up their game. So um I wish they would step up their game with their eyeshadows. I really expect better eyeshadows from Maybelline and CoverGirl than I do any other company because um, they have been around longer. And the fact that e.l.f. you know, e.l.f. and um, Wet n Wild and who else is there? Wet n Wild, e.l.f. and Milani are all drugstore as well. They can sell their stuff for a cheaper price than Maybelline and CoverGirl, and their stuff has more pigmented pigment in the eyeshadows than opposed to CoverGirl or Maybelline. So really, I really wish CoverGirl and Maybelline would step up their game because you are competing with several great companies, and I know you guys have been around really for a long time, but 
you can still, I've seen companies that have been around for 20 plus years and still be knocked out of the water, you guys. Um, so really, CoverGirl is, CoverGirl is good with their lipsticks, not with their eyeshadows, in my opinion. It's, it's a hit and miss with their eyeshadows, the same way with Maybelline, hit and miss. So I'm not a big fan of their eyeshadows, but their lipsticks, I love them to death and beyond. Um, I'm not a big fan of CoverGirl's mascara. Because I feel like out of all the mascaras on the market, CoverGirl is the most dangerous mascara to put on your eyes. They have had too many issues with their mascara, in my opinion. And with that being said, I purchase all my makeup. Nobody purchases it for me. I don't get company products sent to me. I am not paid for these reviews. These reviews are my own opinion. And if you don't believe me, that's on you. But it's the truth. Okay, now back to... Um, Maybelline. The reason I want to mention this foundation again is because uh, I like the fact that it's in a glass bottle. I like the presentation of it. I like the design. But ELF can put their product in a glass bottle and give us a pump. Maybelline can, in CoverGirl. Well, no. CoverGirl does. Maybelline, why can't you put your product in a glass bottle and give us a pump? Why do we need to purchase? The same with Revlon. Revlon does the same thing. Why do we need to purchase a pump for these? And if you want us to purchase a pump for these, can you sell your own pumps right there, right next to the foundation, so we can pick one up for three bucks, two bucks, something like that. Extra money for you guys, extra revenue. So maybe, hint, hint, pumps for these. If you don't want to sell them in the bottle, sell them separately so we can put them on the bottle. Just an idea. So. Uh, back to lipsticks. I'm sorry to keep jumping around, you guys. And this video is going to have to be super edited. CoverGirl lipstick, uh, Caramel Kiss 240. These are the new CoverGirl lipsticks that are out. I, I jumped on these right away because I love CoverGirl lipsticks. They're so moisturizing for, um, for a drugstore. Um, and then 290. 265 and Romance Mob. Um, the reason I jumped on these is because they remind me of that um, Kylie Jenner 90s brown mop lip, you guys, that's been going around. Um, so that's why I jumped on these. Um, this is a really good brown nude. I these have no smell to them. They just okay. smell okay. like CoverGirl. Okay. Okay. Revlon, on the other hand, and I hate this case. Even the um, even Eleven Gorgeous has mentioned this that this case makes it easy to nick your lipsticks. Um, this is one of the new Revlon ones, and 865 HD Magnolia. Nice, pretty lipstick. I'm actually wearing this today with. 265 Romance from CoverGirl. I put them both on my lips. Give me a nice brownish red look. Which you can't really see, but it might be better once I fix this video, you guys. And then, I bought Fig, which is this. A nice nude, pink nude, in my opinion. Because my lips, my lips are, um have pigment to them. They're not like other people. Like my lips are like a brownish pigmented, brown pink pigmented to them. So it's really hard for me to find a nude. And here's a uh, date by, um, by Bite. And for 12 bucks, this is a nice little nude set you can carry with you, which I like. And then HD mascara, which I've already used this. I love this mascara you guys it's really nice HD makeup no it's makeup forever professional mascara sorry you guys smoky extravagant I like this mascara it's one of my faves actually it's become one of my faves and I hope they sell this separate because I'm gonna have to get more of this um baby lips doctor rescue medical Brand. And I also bought um, the coconut, uh, Vaseline coconut little container, which I'm really loving. 
is really moisturizing as much as Carmex. And I'm a super Carmex fan. Like, I feel like Carmex is the only thing that works for my dry lips. And other people don't like Carmex because it's not good for your lips. But I use it. And then the other one is my um, EOS Medicated Lip Balm. I love EOS Medicated Lip Balm. Powder out to that lip balm. It's my favorite by far, you guys. By far. Especially in the winter when I have dry cracked lips. That's my fave. And then, finally, since this video is going to be about 30 minutes long, I hope not. Um, I got the NARS. NARS! Holiday uh, Blush Palette Set. The Virtual Domination Set, which I'm so glad I picked this up. You have a big thing of Laguna. Then you have down here. I am guessing that's Deep Throat. Then Miss Liberty is right there. Then on top is Final Cut. And then over here is Sex Fantasy, you guys. I am wearing Deep Throat and Laguna on my face today. Um, I like Deep Throat. It's okay. It's not as good as the other one. That is really popular and I cannot think of the name of it. But that was my haul. It was a long haul. It had a lot of talking in it. And it's going to be a lot of editing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Um, I'm doing good as far as family wise. And I hope you guys continue to be here. I'm not sure when my next video will be up. But I just wanted to let you guys know. So far I'm doing pretty good. Um. And I'm hoping all goes well. And I'm praying right along with thousands of other people who are praying for me. So thank you all very much. And I hope you guys have a good day. Peace, love, makeup, you guys.